This video is going to be an introduction to Adobe InDesign. Uh, we're going to set up a document and create some text boxes here and edit them a little bit. So when you open InDesign you should come to this splash screen. It'll allow you to open anything you've done before or create something new. So we are going to create a new document. And here's all our document settings. Uh, our intent is to print because we are going to print these out. We only need one page. Uh, we don't need facing pages, which are for when you're printing books or double-sided, anything double-sided where the margins are different on one page to another. Here's our page size. We're going to do a 24 by 36. So what we'll do is double-click in there and type in 24. And you can use the quotes and it'll convert it to inches for you. It's in picas right now. Let's do, or you can do for 36, you can just type IN. It will convert it for you automatically. Um, if we wanted to change this to where it was 36 wide instead of 36 tall, you could change the orientation here with these two little boxes. We'll just leave ours like that. And the margins for the printer we're going to use are a little less than a quarter of an inch all the way around so we can set that here we'll just double click and type in 0.25 inches and because we have this lock symbol here it means that all the margins are locked together so when you change one it'll change them all so let's just hit OK and there's our document uh, the rulers though are still measuring in terms of picas so let's change that. We'll go up to Edit, Preferences, Units and Increments, and you'll see right here the ruler units, the horizontal and vertical are both in picas. So you can pull this drop down to inches. And that should change our rulers. And you can see it did. If we would like to use some guides to have as a, either as reference or to have things snapped to all you have to do is left click up in the ruler and we'll just pull one down and you don't have to worry about guides printing or anything they're just there to help you with your layout so if we select that guide you'll see up here it gives us our location of it if you double click in here you can change it whatever you want. We'll just put that one at an inch. Same way with uh, verticals. We'll just grab one here. Put it out. Here we can move it like this. We can grab it and move it or if we want to be a little more precise we can just do it like that. So let's put something on the page. The first thing we should probably take a look at are text boxes. Uh, everything in InDesign resides inside of a frame, whether you create one or not. If you don't, InDesign will create one for you. Uh, let's do, if you see on the toolbar here, the big T is the text box tool, or the text tool, sorry. And all we have to do is left click and drag one out and we've created a text box. Uh, you'll see the ribbon up here changes to all of our text options. Right here are all of our fonts and there's a bunch of them. We'll just leave it as it is. Uh, underneath that are all the different iterations of the font that are specific to that font. So you have your bold, your italics, all that stuff. Next to that we have our font size. Let's do a big one so we can read it here. And I'm just going to type out this is a text box. If we highlight that text we can change anything we need to over here and font size. If you want to go bigger than 72 inches it's generally easier just to double click in there 
and type something in. Let's try. You can use the boxes, the buttons next to it to make it bigger. Or you can just type it in. We'll highlight this again. Uh, over here is, right here in the middle, is the text color. So we open that up and we'll get all the swatches we have for colors. These are just the generic ones. Right now, let's change it to a yellow. All right. If we take our direct selection tool, or our selection tool, which is right up here on the left over here, that gives us our actual frame, which we can manipulate any way we need to. You can make it bigger, smaller. If you if you want to round the corners, um, you click this little yellow box and it gives you the option if you just grab one you can round them. Uh, if you hold down shift you can round just one. And this works for image frames and text frames. But for this I was just going to show you this changes. Up here was our when we had our text selected it was the color for our text. This becomes the color for the fill inside the box. So let's change it to a red. And that's how you that's all you have to do to manipulate the color of the text box. Um, if we go back to our text tool, we have more options up here. We have our justifications. You can center, you can write justify from up here. Uh, over here on the right are your columns. You can change to as many or as little columns as you want. Under here is the stroke color, which I'll show you. If you hold down Alt and use your wheel, it'll let you zoom in. So for this, let's do a white stroke. And what that gives you is a basically a white frame around everything inside your, your box, in, in your text, excuse me. And that's Let's go back to text here. We'll do Control C. I'll just copy a bunch of them down to show you. When you have more inside the text box than actually fits, you'll get this little red box with a cross in it down here. Well, all that's telling you is you've got too much to the more text than actually fits inside the box, which you can manipulate the box if you need to, or the frame. Or if you click on this little red X, you'll see the cursor changes and it has all your text in it. You can actually draw out a new box and it kept the color of the text, but it didn't keep the color of the, f the frame, because it's a different frame completely. But those two are linked, so if we delete something out of here, you'll notice that the text from the bottom one flows back into the top. And if we add more in the top it flows back into the bottom so InDesign also will let you place Word documents and PDFs so if I were to draw out a text box here we'll go to file place 
I just have a sample text here on the desktop. And it automatically brings in the text from that box. So if you'd rather write your stuff out in Word and then bring it in, you can do that. And let's see. For your text, if you are going to use colors, we'll go to back up here. Here's your color palette with all your swatches. If you've got a different color you'd like to use, you can click this little box right here and go to new color swatch. And you can manipulate these sliders to create any color you want. And in a later movie, I'll show you how to pick colors out of an image to use, which can be really handy. Now, if you click off this, the generic name it's going to give it is your CMYK values. If you have something you'd rather use, you can click off that box and type in whatever you want. So it'll be easier for you to remember. So see, that becomes sample color there. And one last thing on text boxes or text frames. You can, you'll notice that the box here, all the properties of this box are up in the upper left. So the X and Y, where it starts, the width and height. If you wanted to be a little more precise, let's say we wanted to make that 13 wide, we'll double click on the width. Let's make it 8 tall. And you can manipulate the X and Y of where it starts, but since we made some guides, we'll just show you really quick. Once you bring that box close to those guides, it'll snap to it. And if you want to rotate it, if you take your cursor just outside of one of the corners, you'll notice it changes. And that'll let you rotate it. Right up here is the degrees of rotation. You can manipulate that as well. And that's just a quick overview of InDesign.